Hello, uh, I am Dr. Vesna Garovic uh, from the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension. And I'm Dr. Tracy Weisgerber, also from the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension. And today we are going to discuss our paper that will be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings that addresses uric acid as a missing link between hypertensive pregnancy disorders and future cardiovascular disease. Our team has a long-standing interest in this topic. Uh, increasingly, hypertensive pregnancy disorders are recognized as one of uh, the risk factors for future cardiovascular disease. This association may be underlined by uh, several possible mechanisms. One of them is that women who, have, who develop hypertensive pregnancy disorders may have an uh, unfavorable overall cardiovascular disease risk profile and develop hypertension in pregnancy and then cardiovascular disease later in life. Alternatively, hypertensive pregnancy disorders per se may cause metabolic and vascular changes that may contribute to cardiovascular disease risks. We focused on the marker uric acid, which is an important predictor of heart disease, renal disease, as well as high blood pressure all conditions that are known to be increased in women with a history of high blood pressure during pregnancy. And some researchers think that high uric acid concentrations may also contribute to the development of these diseases later in life. We studied Hispanic, not white, and black women who were at an average age of 60 years. Our results showed that women who reported a history of high blood pressure in pregnancy were more likely to have high uric acid concentrations later in life, several decades after their pregnancy. This finding persisted when we adjusted for known diseases and cardiovascular risk factors in these women. High uric acid concentrations are known to run in families, so we also wanted to know whether these higher uric acid concentrations that we observed were due to the woman's pregnancy history or may have been explained by her family history. We compared uric acid concentrations in women who had a history of high blood pressure in pregnancy, as well as their sisters who had normal blood pressure during their pregnancy. And we again found that women with a history of high blood pressure in pregnancy had higher uric acid concentrations compared to their sisters who had normal blood pressure in pregnancy. This suggested that the high uric acid concentrations we observed weren't simply due to a familial predisposition. Uh, we think that our study provides important data and addresses one of the possible mechanisms that link hypertensive pregnancy disorders and future cardiovascular disease. In future studies, we'll, focusing, we'll focus on identifying other mechanisms for long-term disease in women with a history of high blood pressure in pregnancy. And we'll also be working on expanding these findings using population-based cohorts where we can use medical records to assess women's pregnancy history as well as their history of long-term disease. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.